Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different data science and analytics topics, uh, including platforms, both open source as well as commercial platforms. And today we're going to be talking about R. And um, so R is an open source platform. And specifically today we're going to be talking about quantile regression in R. So uh, many of you are probably familiar with various types of regression, the most common being ordinary least squares um, and LM in the R uh, language is uh, uh, functions for doing uh, linear models. And most of those models assume that um, you have uh, normal errors, normally distributed errors at least. And so there are some assumptions there that are sometimes difficult to uh, deal with. And there, this quantile regression is extremely powerful. And number one, it is non-parametric. So we don't have to assume uh, normality of the errors. And, um, and we can also change the, the different quantiles. So the most common would be median, which is kind of a robust um, regression. So uh, not influenceable by outliers because we're talking about rank or order statistics here, um, percentiles, if you will. Um, so the median is the 50th percentile, but we can also do quantiles anywhere, any anything that we specify. We'll see that in just a second. So uh, real quickly, for those that are interested in the linear algebra, here is the conditional expression for um, uh, the quantile, uh, where well, actually where tau is the, the quantile. Um, so quantile regression in R is this function Q sub Y um, of, of the quantile t tau given X or the data. And so it's the data transpose beta. Um, so anyway, we're going to do a simple example. I'm just showing you here what we're we're going to do. We're going to we're going to um, create a quantile regression for log of the wage, and um, with this formula, um, beta one plus beta two experience times the uh, experience squared. So we're going to have a, a nonlinear um, regressor here, and then education. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's jump straight into our studio where we're going to load up this library, QuantReg, and um, we're going to be using a data set in this library, AER. And QuantReg is supported. Um, Conquer uh, is the one attributed with writing this package, and then Keebler and um, uh, Zalise is responsible for this AER. Uh, package. The data that we're going to use is this um, CPS 1988 data. So if we take a quick look at what that looks like, um, we can see that there are uh, there's wage data um, and education and wages. What we're predicting, um, and we're going to use the the education and the experience um, to uh, predict that. All right. So come up with a model for wage based on education and experience. And then here is the, the formula for that, right? So again, as, as I showed you a minute ago, log of the wage is what we're predicting on this experience and education. So I, I do that. And then I'm going to, um, uh, put this information into the CPS, uh, variable and then I can look at that that summary of, of that information and so here I have the coefficients right so I called this RQ function um, and I'm by default since I didn't specify I'm for this LAD the default is the median the 50th percentile so you can see here this is the, the 50th percentile that I'm uh, creating the model for and so I can look at all these different um, coefficients and they all have an extremely low probability, very high T values, absolute T values. So every one of these is um, statistically significant um, to that prediction. 
And certainly we could compare what the ordinary least squares thing would look like. That's something that you can do on your own. Um, I want to keep these short, so I'll keep them brief. And again, the median, all of those are. So what if I wanted to do other quantiles? Here, I can see that tau, I now have a vector, 0.25 and 0.75. So this is the lower quartile, sometimes called the lower quartile, 0.25, which is 25th percentile, or in the upper quartile, the 75th percentile. So if I run that and then um, get a summary, then I can, I can uh, determine that uh, these are significant as well. So if I expand this window a little bit, um, I can see that uh, here for 0.25, the coefficients have definitely changed, right? The betas have definitely changed. Um, and then for the 75th percentile uh, as well. So you can compare all of those. All right. So um, now what if we were to um, look at whether these are statistically significant or not? So one of the things that we can do is we can create a model now uh, based on these, and then we can do an ANOVA. So let's do that. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to determine whether these um, uh, regression lines or surfaces are, are actually parallel, or if the effective regressors um, are uniform across a different quartile. So I'm, I, there's an ANOVA function here that I'm going to use. So let me let me first pull out these two, and so now I've got that loaded, and then now I can run the ANOVA, and that's going to tell me if there are differences, um, uh, essentially that they're, that they're they're not parallel. And so the uh, again I have the model. The joint test for equality of slopes in tau is 0.75 or 0.25 and 0.75 here. And um, I can see here that the p-value is extremely small. I have a large f, which says that there is definitely a difference um, uh, there. So there, uh, the slopes are uh, not the same. Okay. And then uh, what else can we do? Um, we can look at bands. So let, let's do this. Let's here. I'm going to create. I'm going to still use the same function, um, but I'm going to use a tau of a sequence of 0 0.05 all the way to 0 0.95 by 5 percent. So I'm going to compute the fifth, tenth, fifteenth, etc., all the way to the 95th percentile for this data. And so if I do that, and then Create a sub. Oops. Create a uh, summary, and then if we look at the results of that, um, then I have here are the betas across all of those. So different betas for all of those different percentiles, and then I can actually plot that. So I'm going to say plot in the the, C, the CPS, and this is what I get. So across here, again, these are my percentiles, and the betas are on the Y. So I can see what's happening with, with the beta across the different percentiles of the function. So it's really, it's really pretty cool. Um, and see if there's anything else that I wanted to see. Um, I guess not. So uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, you can play with this. Again, it, the library is QuantReg. And then this data set that we were using here is from the um, AER. Um, you can get those off of CRAN, uh, download directly to our studio, um, and then you can play with this data. And again, robust regression, quantile regression, non-parametric regression, you'll see this kind of listed under various titles. But hopefully um, that that's useful. And uh, catch me next time. I'll be doing, uh, be talking about different software packages and, and different functions. Hope to see you then.